going to be based on the, the 15 uh, last year's uh, World Junior team and, and how we went about preparing for, for the tournament. And, and everything comes and it starts in the summertime. And, and uh, Hockey Canada spares no expense here. This was our dressing room uh, for the finals when we, when we moved over to the medal round. And, and it is, uh, this actually is the Toronto Maple Leafs dressing room. Uh, we converted it into making it home like it was for Hockey Canada. And, and the one thing that uh, you look at in, in uh, these tournaments is you're looking for key phrases and, and words and, and things that you can use to identify how you want to play. In our way, three-zone player, we want it to be relentless. And, and these were reminders that the players, players got to see. And one of the first things when you get into these short-term competitions is, is when you get together with your staff, Everybody has to make sure that uh, you have a plan. And our plan was, it, it was as coaches, we got together and, and you see the, the job descriptions and, and everything is drawn out, everything is detailed. And, and Benny Grew was, was the head coach. His responsibility was laid out. He was going to oversee, oversee the team. And you know, the one thing that Ben did a real good job of was, was delegating and uh, you know, assigning different responsibility to each coach and, and making sure that everyone had a vital role. And, and uh, myself, it was power play working with the D, Scotty Walker. He worked with the, uh, the forwards, penalty kill, and he did the five on six, six on five play. So through the course of this, and, and uh, probably our biggest addition and, and our most valuable coach was our last addition. And, and we went through the summer camp and and just in talking with guys that have gone through the process, one thing that was, was a huge challenge was in these short-term competitions, it was making sure that you didn't miss anything and the preparation and what goes, what it entails, the video, the pre-scout. And, and uh, we felt that in our conversations through the summertime, that was something that we spent a lot of extra time on. And we felt that we would, if we could add one more person, that was the area that we would we would look at. Marty was responsible for going out, not being with the team all the time, working on pre-scout video, breaking down the game. And it made life a lot easier. So when Benny showed up at 9 o'clock in the morning, we'd been there for a couple hours. And he sat down. He was down to 25, 30 clips. And all he had to do now was move, move forward. So, But it, goaltenders, you know, he let Freddie do his, his work with the goalies. It was pretty, pretty clear. Uh, in Montreal with Zach Fakali, who was going to start game one. So we knew where we were going with that. And it made, he made sure everybody was, everybody was important. And, and this here for us was the key, was we had a, we had a plan laid out. And, and obviously, minor hockey teams have different layers, different levels, not quite as advanced as this here is, but up on the top was the management group and, and how everybody was going to be connected and... and the key, the key was the manager, and everybody knows to, to make coaches look good, you need to have good managers and, and good organize, people with good organizational skills. And we were fortunate that with Bain, that if anything screwed up on the logistics side, that was the guy that where everything was going to be, the fingers were going to be pointed to. And we were, we were fortunate through the coaching staff, dealing with the doctors, and everything was laid out. So we didn't have practice starting and one guy not ready to be on the ice because he was injured. We made sure that everybody knew where, where they were going. And for guys that are involved in short-term competitions, this was, and usually you have a calendar, whether it be a weekend, you have your schedule, whether it is a week-long tournament, whether it's four days, lay out your plan. And this was our plan. Our plan was laid out. We knew exactly where we were going to be from the start of competition when staff arrived to the last day when we were leaving. This here was a detailed daily itinerary where this was a travel day for us. This is what it entailed. And I know this is the boring part of it all, this is, but this is part of short-term competition, is making sure that you do have a plan and, 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 you, and you try and stay as tight as possible. This was a travel day, but the key was for us was we didn't take up the whole day of the players. And, and if you look at 3.30, we, we'd come from Toronto, we went into Niagara Falls, we went, we had practice, we ended up going back to the hotel at 3.30 to 7 o'clock, the players had time on their own. And we were fortunate enough that we were able to bring in some guest speakers. This is uh, the day before the gold medal game. This was a typical game day. And when you get into these tournaments and, and when you're coaching, the one thing that you have to understand is 
to make your, make your team successful, you have to know your team. And if you notice here, there's no game day skate. And for, for us in the Western Hockey League, our team, we do in Victoria, we skate in the morning. And you know, we have guys in the Ontario League, we have guys in Quebec. That some teams skate, some guys don't skate. And, and through the preliminary part of the tournament, when we played exhibition games, we skated in the morning. And, and we, as we got closer to the start of the tournament, the leadership group came up to us and said, you know what, we'd prefer not to skate. So we went back, we thought, hey, you know what, well, we're, we still have to find a way. We played every game at 8 o'clock, so if we didn't bring them in to skate, we had to make sure that the day was functional, getting themselves ready to play. And the credit to the leadership group is we brought these guys in, we would do our video in the morning, we would, they would do a dynamic warm-up, they would go back, they would eat. And uh, then they would sleep, and they'd come back, they'd get ready to play a game, and, and it worked. And what was good was every game day didn't change, and this was the day that we played the gold medal game, where the, every day was the same, every day was consistent, and every day was organized. And that was, I, I believe that's, you know, to, to run a strong program, to, to run a winning program, if you can stay organized and be functional, it usually gives yourself an advantage. And this is what we sat down as coaches, and, and this is what we talked about, how could we win? And if you, if you look back, 2009 was the last time that Canada won the gold medal. I think Coop was working on that staff, and I'm sure he's told 